Hi, it's Paul Maunder from Production Expert. In Pro Tools 2025.6, Avid introduced a speech-to-text transcription feature. In this video, we'll be taking a look at how it works. Firstly, this isn't installed by default, so go into Avid Link and install it if you haven't already. In this session, I've got a voiceover on this track and it would be useful to have the text to refer to. You can transcribe an entire track or selectively transcribe individual audio files on the track. Let's start with just this file. Right click on the clip and choose Transcription, Transcribe. If the transcription engine hasn't already been launched, it will do at this point. Then Pro Tools will transcribe the audio. It analyzes the whole audio file, so it could take a while if the audio is from a much longer file. Fortunately, this can happen in the background, so if you do need to work on other things while it's happening, you can do so. Once complete, you'll see the transcription below the audio on the track. If it's not there, check that the Track Transcription Lane option is enabled in the View menu. Now, during playback, the text will be highlighted and will follow the spoken words. For centuries, it has captured the human spirit, stretching our imaginations on what we believe is possible. How much text is displayed is obviously dependent on the current zoom level. You can also switch the track view to transcript to view it overlaid on top of the waveform. Magic has woven itself into the fabric of our history, our culture and our imagination. If you need to transcribe an entire audio track, you can right click on the track name and choose Keep Track Transcribed. This will transcribe what's currently there and any new dialogue which gets added to the track later will also be transcribed. Using the transcript, you can make selections by clicking and dragging on the text, and then you can of course copy and paste the audio. This can be done from the timeline, as I've just done, or you can do a similar thing from the transcript window. Here you can also search the text. This is very handy when you need to locate a particular word or sentence in a large session. I can just type a word which I know is in the audio somewhere, and it finds it, so I can then jump to that point just by clicking on the word. Released today at a major European medical conference. There's a transcription settings window which you'll find under the setup menu. These settings are quite important because they affect the quality of the transcription. If you find that your audio isn't being transcribed accurately, you can go into the drop down menu, which is called Language Hint, and change it from multilingual, which is the default, to one of the specific languages it supports. Also, you can specify how it should deal with stereo files. Does it transcribe the channels as one, so summed? Does it treat them individually? Or does it just use either the left or right channel for the transcription? If you're working with an audio file which is a complete surround mix, you can choose how the transcription analysis handles it. This works with formats from LCR to 9.1.6, and you can see the options here. Most of the time, center channel only will work best, given that in most mixes, this is where most or all of the dialogue tends to sit. For audio imported from a field recorder, there are once again settings, which in this case include some channels, individual channels, or first channel only. Let me show you something else. Back in the transcript window, there are two tabs, timeline and files. Any transcribed audio on the timeline will appear in the timeline tab. If it's in the session, then it will appear in the files tab, whether or not it's on the timeline or just in the clip list. From here, you can search or select audio and usefully you can copy a text selection. And then when you click in a track and paste, the corresponding piece of audio itself is pasted. Data released today at a major European medical conference showed that patients with early stage melanoma could successfully receive remote robotic surgery at home. The text to speech feature in Pro Tools is a welcome addition for dialogue editors or anyone who works on podcasts, voiceovers, or any content where locating, selecting, and editing speech is part of the process. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.